Hi and welcome to another Bricks Motion tutorial. In this video I want to show you how to build this text zoom effect. We will use as always Bricks and Bricks Forge and we will start in Bricks. In Bricks we will have three sections. I always start with the hero section with a height of 100 VH and some text inside of it. We will then have the focus section and the last section which will have a matching background color of the font you are scaling up. So for the focus section we will add a class of focus section and set the height to 500 VH so we got some scroll space and I also set the padding uh, top and bottom to zero. I also gave it an overflow of hidden so when we are scaling up this text it's not visible when it scales above the section. Mm, I also added a background color of black and then we can add a container. The container is just a simple container with um, everything is aligned to the center and inside of the container we will add a focus wrapper. So give it a class of focus wrapper and we will also align everything to the center. Give give it a width of 100% so it fits the whole container and the height of 100 VH so it fits the size of the view height and everything inside of this wrapper will be centered. We then will set the position to relative and that's it for the wrapper. Inside the wrapper we can now add our first element which is an image. I gave it a width and a height, set the position to absolute and gave it a Z index of zero so it's always in the back. I also gave it a border radius of 100% so it's a, a full circle and I set the transform origin to center center. Make sure that you set the object fit to cover. After that we can add our first outline text. So I will just set this zoom text to display none. So the outline text um, will also get a position of absolute and the Z index of one, so it's above the image. And we will add some typography settings. It's important that you use black in this case because we are using mixed blend mode to get it transparent. The transform origin is set to center center and to get the outline effect we will use the text shadow. So we are just adding a text shadow of one pixel on every side. And we will set the mix band mode to lighten which gives us this transparent effect. You can then uh, add two more um, outline texts or duplicate it as often as you need it. After that we will add the zoom text and we will set it to display block and we will give it a position of relative and a z index of 2 so it's above all the other elements. For the typography the font size is exactly the same as the outline text and I gave it a color of green. We will also set the transform origin to center center and in this case we will use the mixed blend mode which is exclusion in this case which gives us this nice blending effect here. I also added the um, font smoothing of anti-alias so we have a little bit more smoother experience when we are scaling up the font. So everything is set up HTML and CSS wise and we will now jump into Bricks Forge to animate it. Um, we will start with a new timeline and set the trigger to scroll trigger. Our trigger selector will be our focus section and we want to start when the section hits the top of the viewport. We want to use scrub um, to attach the animation to the scroll bar and we want to use pin so everything stays in place and while the animation is happening. Our selector will be also our focus section and the pin spacing will be disabled. I also set a match media rule, in this case it has a min width of 786 pixels, so we are targeting everything above tablet size. And then we will start with our first animation. So we want to animate the text zoom and we want to animate it to a scale of 
90, which is very large, and we want to translate it to 600%. This translate animation will help us to hit the the C in this case. So if we would, wouldn't translate it to 600%, as you can see, we will just zoom in the middle of the C, which would not give us the overlapping effect we want to achieve. So make sure that you are adjusting this value to your font and font size you are using. The duration is set to one and that's it. Then added the focus image animation, where we just want to scale it down. We want to rotate it a few times. And I set the opacity to zero and added some blur. The duration here is set to 0 0.5 and the position is set to 0 0.2. So it will start 0 0.2 seconds after the text is scaling in. That's it for the first timeline. And we now have a look at the second timeline. So in the second timeline, we will be targeting our outline text. We also want to set the trigger to scroll trigger. The trigger selector is the focus section. In this case, we want to handle the trigger separately. And the animation should start when the top of the section hits the top of the viewport. We want to use scrub and we want to use stagger. So every focus text will start with a difference of 0 0.5 seconds. And we want to disable pin as we already pin it in the previous animation. So the trigger selector will be our focus text. And we want to just scale it down to 0 0.3 and set the opacity to zero. And that's it for the shrinking text. And now we will have a look at the mobile animation because this is a little bit different to the other animations. Okay, so as mobile browsers have some issues with scaling text, we will use an image for smaller devices. So as you can see here on tablet, I'll be using this SVG image and we want to set it to a very large width. So it's 3000 pixels in this case. And then we will add another animation, another timeline where we say the max width should be 786. So everything below 786 pixels will have this animation. We also want to target the trigger selector, uh, the focus section as a trigger selector. Started on the top top, we want to use scrub two and we want to use pin. In this case, pin spacing is enabled. And now, as this image is very, very large, we want to animate it from a small size, which is 0 0.1, which is setting the image size to a regular size and then we want to scale it up to 20 in this case and we are doing this because if we would scale it up like the text the image would get unsharp and um, this is a small workaround to make sure that the image stays sharp and we also want to translate it so from zero percent to to 300 percent in this case and then we can add another animation for the image. So we want to scale it, rotate it, blur it, and set the opacity to zero, give it a delay of 0 0.2. And that will be our animation for the mobile devices. As you can see, we are not animating the outline text on mobile devices. So make sure that you're setting the text to display none on smaller sizes and set the image to display block. And yes, that's it. You can download the timelines and the Bricks structure on BricksMotion.co. I will put the link in the description. And if you want to share some love, you can join my newsletter and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And yes, see you on the next one.